Hi guys, today I've come with a new device apart of Samsung Galaxy Y. This is Galaxy Pop Mini S5570. Today I'm going to show how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy Pop S5570 to Android version 2.3.6. So first of all download all the files given in the descriptions and follow my procedures. First of all, this is S5570 Galaxy Pop Mini. Power off your phone. And now it's time to locate the files on the Odin. In the description, I have given these two files. One is Odin uh, for S5570 and the second one is the stock ROM GTS5570. You have to extract this file and by extracting you will get these files. Inside it, you will get this many files. So that is it. Now you have to run your Odin. You will get a pop-up block. Click on yes. So this is the Odin multi-downloader for S5570. Now you have to locate the files now. Click on one package and select unclick it once more so that it gets refreshed. Now select the OPS. You can see OPS. Click on OPS and uh, locate all the files into your desktop so that it is it will be easier to find it. You can see over here TAS version 1.0 OPS. Select it. Now you have to select the second option boot. For boot you have to go on this extracted files and to, you have to select the first option which is AP boot and now the second option phone for the second option you have to select the last option in the extracted files that is modem and now PDA for PDA you have to select the second option in the extracted files that is code and last but not the least CSC you have to select the third option which is DTS 5570 multi CSC as it is you have located all the files successfully now you have to uh, reboot your phone into the download mode for booting your S5570 Galaxy Pop Mini, you have to press volume down button, power button and home button simultaneously. After downloading, you can get this image on the screen. That means you have successfully booted into the download mode. Now it's time to connect your USB to your PC. You have successfully uh, booted into the downloading mode and you have successfully even uh, connected the USB to your PC. After connecting it into the PC, you can get, uh, you will get a yellow mark down there at COM part mapping. It means that you have successfully connected your phone to the PC and adversely connected to the Odin multiloader. Now the last procedure from Odin is to press the start button to start the procedure and here as you press the start button the procedure will start as you can see it is been showing over here and your phone will be on the same method. Please keep an eye on the Odin because at the time of uh, when it shows a reset you have to cancel your Odin and disconnect your mobile from the download mode. You have to disconnect the USB when it comes to when the this signals come to the reset. Now it's right now on the system you can see The procedure is going on. There is no changes in the screen on the Samsung Galaxy Pop Mini as it was in the Galaxy Y 
there are many changes while this procedure going on while flashing the stock room please don't panic as you can see the time time is running over here it means the process is going on if the time gets stuck then uh, you can uh, remove your battery and re retry the same procedure it's still on system when it comes on reset you have to cancel it is still on the system the time is running it means it is still on the procedure it is flashing the same it's not come up till now to the reset it's now changed it's come to the data CSC reset now reset when it comes you can uh, cut your close you can close your holding and you can see here the procedure has started in your phone it will be showing like this you can now remove your USB as you can see now the phone is booting it's showing the Galaxy Mini GTS 5570 logo and it's got booted now it may be it may get stuck on the Samsung logo please wait until it comes to the home page please don't panic please don't uh, work on the procedure going on it will take a little while as it is a first boot after the Android version upgraded it is on the Samsung logo still now it takes a little time to come to the home page it takes a little time if it shows more than 5 to 10 minutes uh, the Samsung logo you can press your power button for more than 8 seconds and it will reboot once again it is still showing the Samsung logo it will load the home page in a while as you can see it is coming to the home page and uh, as I was telling this was and this is an Indonesian stock so I will uh, tell you how to change the language also so click it over here now it will be uh, loading the home page yeah you have come on the uh, you have come on the home page close this things let the media scan complete so that we can uh, so that the phone will not be slow yeah as the media scanning is completed I'll show you how to change the language uh, come to the menu uh, setting icon and you can go down here you can see the alphabet over here oh sorry not that one uh, the upper one and select on this on the first option down there and select the uh, English United States so that now you can see the um, language has been changed so come back and uh, I'll show you the Android version at a glance go to the about phone and look at this the Android version is upgraded to 2.3.6 upgraded version and you have successfully upgraded the Android version from 2.2.1 to 2.3.6 that is from Froyo to gingerbread yeah that's all with this video Thank you for watching my video if you have any problem please do comment to comment on the comment box and if please do subscribe to my channel like the video thank you thank you for watching guys